Aquaba guys, my name is Mark Wordsmith and I'm glad to have you over at my channel. This channel is all about making literature in English a more fun and easier feel for students, teachers and literary enthusiasts. In this video, you are going to have an in-depth analysis of Foolish or Ink as the Lion and the Jewel. Before I go on, this is a new channel, so kindly subscribe, comment and give the like button a gentle tap. Also, click on the notifications button so that you don't miss out on any of our new uploads. Without further ado, here is the analysis of The Lion and the Jewel. The Lion and the Jewel is a classic piece of drama by one of Africa's greatest creatives, Willy Shoinga. The drama is rich in its representation of the African culture and society. Set in the village of Ilojun Lake, the plot follows the lives of the village bear Sidi. Lakunle, the school teacher, and Baroka, the lion of Ilejunle. Prominent themes in the drama include the clash of cultures, the vibrancy of the African culture, the complex, complicated, and elegant nature of the Western culture, the simplicity of the African culture, and the need to maintain our identity as Africans in the globalized world, and a whole lot more. Though it was first published in 1963, the themes present in The Lion and the Jewel are still highly relevant in today's rapidly changing society. The overall tone of the play is satiric and playful. Structure-wise, the drama has three acts under the names Morning, Noon and Night. The naming of the acts according to the three main divisions of time in a day is a foreshadow and complement of the introduction of characters in the morning the building and rising of action at noon and the falling and climax of the action in the night. The action in the morning takes place at a clearing on the edge of the market. This act introduces us to the main characters of the play. We are first introduced to Sidi, a slim girl with plaited hair. In Sorinka's words, she's a true village belle. Sidi is shortly joined on stage by the nearly 23 years old Lakunle, who is dressed in an old style English suit. From their conversation, Lakunle's anti traditional sentiments are exposed along with his love for Sidi. Sidi provides the condition necessary for their marriage. The Lakunle pays her bride price in full. Lakunle's disregard for culture and his decision to forgo the pain of her bride price is the stumbling block in their relationship. In the same act, we get introduced to Lakunle's foil, the 62-year-old Baroka. Baroka is the natural counterpoint of Lakunle in terms of age, appearance, philosophy, beliefs and personal principles. Noon, which is the second act of the drama, creates tension with the establishment of the main point of contention in the drama. By noon, Lakunle has Baroka's arrival in the struggle for Sidi's hand in marriage. Through Sadiku, Baroka's first wife, it is illustrated that the Lion of Ilujunle is interested in marrying Sidi. Our curiosities and questions are answered in the third act, Night, as Baroka becomes victorious in the race for Sidi's heart. This ending comes as no surprise, however, as Willy Shoyinka foreshadows it in the wrestling match between Baroka and a wrestler with a python for a mother and fathered by a blubber buttoned baboon. In one energetic outburst, Baroka lifts and throws his opponent over his shoulder. Of course, this foreshadows how his vibrancy, exuberance, and wildness will in the end help him defeat Lakunle in the battle for Sidi's heart. That's it for today guys. This has been part 1 of the analysis of Uli Shoyinka's The Lion and the Jewel. Did I miss anything? Well, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I really appreciate it. Kindly subscribe if you haven't done that already and click on the notification bell icon to get informed anytime I post any new video. And guys, don't forget to stay literate. See you in the next video.